RV Max brings you a quick video for this 2003 National Tradewind LE model 374. 7500 Onan diesel generator is running despite some hours on it. They're designed to run forever. It's got a Kubota engine. This is a fall clearance special. Do it yourself and save you a ton of money. 10 gallon hot water heater is disconnected from inside. That's how I got it from another dealership. It was a trade in there. So 10 gallon hot water heater could be bad or something wrong with it. Maybe tank leaking or what not have you. All the tires Michelin, they're not new. Some of our 06, 08 date code, but they're not showing any uh, dry rot at crack as you can see. Please take a look at all my pictures. Exterior body is free from any major damage that I can see here. Got a fiberglass solid roof on top. Two slide outs on this end as you can see. 330 cat, 330 horsepower caterpillar with a six-speed Allison exhaust brakes. National were nicely made coaches back then. This thing rides on a Spartan chassis. I mean I can tell the exterior the, all the decals are not tattered up or anything like that. They look pretty nice. So hot water heater don't work. I'll show you some more stuff and I may sell it like it is or we can repair everything and be asking a lot more money. It's got an inverter under one of this compartment. Uh, full uh, pass through storage from here to all the way to the other side. Again, this is just a quick video. As some of those folks that have been watching my video, I'll go through a video with another person doing my video and I walk through it. But once again, this is a falls clearance. I'm just going to get rid of some motorhomes to make some room for a new one coming in. Windshields free from any chips or cracks that I can see inside. Privacy curtain could replacing. It's got some condensation uh, stain. You'll see it. It's got an entrance awning, patio awning in good shape. It's cloth, not a vinyl. It may need a, a spring mechanism when it goes in. It's making a little louder noise. So that's about 80 bucks spring. So I'm going to try to tell you as much as I know, so save you time and me. Uh, again, look at the tires, a Toyo in the front, Michelin in the back. Uh, tires not showing any uh, dry rot at cracks, but they are 2006 date codes in front, so they're 10 years old. You like to have new, it's going to cost you some money. Let's walk in interior, no pad order, no smoke order, importantly no mail do order. Good shape. Big wide uh, co-captain chair. Power seats on captain chair. Spartan chassis, it's one of the smoothest riding chassis. Power gear leveling jacks, they work fine. Six speed Allison works super nice. We just drove it down from mountains and it runs great. It's got updated LCD Samsung TV, looks like a 37 inches. It's got a some kind of RCA uh, satellite receiver. You may not may need to buy one. It does have a dome dish up on top. Multi CD changer. Uh, this is the uh, privacy curtain I was talking about. It has seen some better days. You can use it or you can buy a new one. They're not much. Day and night shade. Most of the parts they work. Some of them don't work. By the way, foggy. No foggy windows. That's a good plus for it. Let's see, no foggy windows. That is a big plus. Some of these older motorhomes got foggy windows because they're double pan. This window seems to be in good shape. Carpet looks like, looks like in a good shape. Right around driver's side, we have a from uh, sidewall got little wallpaper. It's a little loose here. It's still sol solid underneath, but I'd like to mention that. So it may have a, a previous water intrusion right around here. Sofa opens up in the bed. It's a magic bed, so it'll open up, jackknife, nice wooden cabinetry, some books and records right here. That's always a plus. Corian countertops, ceramic tiling. It did have a booth dinette. It's been removed and we got this uh, nice uh, big lot special, $49.99 cheap table and chairs. That's how it came when I bought it. Uh, another little recliner sitting here. Doesn't look like it came with a factory. Someone throw it in there. Got a table that comes out from wall and you can stow it back like this. Both of these seats will turn around, swivel. So it's got lots of good stuff and some bad stuff that I'm going to tell you. Some of the uh, 
bulbs I'm missing or they're they're burned out or may need a bellus. Um, Alright. Uh, you may need to tighten up on the side those strings, the day and night shades. Uh, dual sinks. Got a little pull-out sprayer, water filtration system. The ceramic sinks look okay. Got a convection oven here, I think it's GE profile. Yep. Got three burner gas stove. Lots of cabinetry underneath. Ceramic tiles look great. Uh, I've seen one crack in the center. I'll show you that. This refrigerator somehow is not cooling, so I don't know what's going on. It's a household electrical refrigerator. Someone removed the LP refrigerator, which is new uh, thing gone. People don't want LP refrigerator, so you may have to replace that. I will include the model number, and you could change that. So that's another thing wrong with it. Got a little slide out. pocket door to give you pr complete privacy here in a bedroom or in, in a bathroom area. Here's a crack tile right there if you could see it and I think it goes on into the uh, that one particular tile is cracked up two place and this is a private toilet. Need a little fan here that's five dollar fan. It may need a switch or motor not a big deal but I like to mention everything so if you look if you up to doing some challenge yourself I'm gonna give you a heck of a deal. The air conditions are working, so there are a lot of good stuff. Generator is running, air conditioning is running, motorhome runs and drives good. You know, we got Spartan chassis, Cat, Diesel, Six Speed Allison, lots of good stuff. Washer dryer combo here. We have not tried it. You have to be plugged in in a campground with a water source, and it they usually work. They don't usually give you a hard time. Some kind of a memory foam mattress, probably a for the front sofa bed. Back here in the bedroom, as you can see, uh, slide gives you a little bit of a walking room. It's a queen size bed. A little bit of vanity area, surface. You know, we've got some counter space there. TV's been missing from back here. Coat closet. The day and night shade string needs to be restrung. Carpet got a little bit of stain here. This concludes our video on these 2003 National Model 374 Trade Winds LE model. Handyman Special, I guess that's what I would say because I did mention whatever things are wrong. Uh, our RV tech is so behind right now. I mean, if I could fix all this stuff, you know I would be asking uh, a few more thousand dollars. So have yourself a great deal. A major thing I know that is refrigerator is not cooling and hot water heater has been uh, bypass so I guess there is a something going on with the uh, hot water heater. There's a couple of stuffs a major. Other than that it's a good use 2003 mud ohm could use a little touch up. Structurally solid for 13 year old motorhome. home. No smell inside. Give me a call. I prefer text communication. My number is 864-404-0054. 864-404-0054. Have a great day.